This is part two of the video that I mentioned in my last one. I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth as to what I've done with the place, where I've gotten certain pieces, what DIYs I've done. I'm not gonna go too in depth on the furniture because I went over that in my last video. So if you wanna know where some of the big pieces are, be sure to check out that video. So I got this from Castlery, they kindly sent this out to me. If you guys remember in my first apartment tour, so if you haven't seen that either, maybe check that video out. That might be, the styles are very different is what I'm trying to say. So check that video out. I had a black cabinet here that I had from Ikea and it had glass fronts and I was using that as my bar. Don't get me wrong, in the beginning it was actually kind of cute, but then with the glass fronts, it started getting a little cluttered and I just wanted something a little bit more clean <laughs> and not as not something that can show as much clutter behind the doors. I love the height of this bar. I love that it's like literally perfect arm length to kind of like move around and put drinks and stuff. Just to go over some of the things up here, this mirror, same mirror that I had before, it's from Target. This is actually a DIY. I got this lamp from Amazon. Originally it was like a champagne gold and I wasn't feeling that vibe. So I spray painted it. It probably needs like another coat to be honest. This was actually a white tray that I spray painted black. You wouldn't believe how expensive black trays are. They were running like 40 or $50 online and I was like, absolutely not. I'm pretty sure I picked this up from the dollar spot at Target. Pretty sure I picked that up like a couple years ago and it was white and now it's black. <laughs> All of the bar equipment is from Target as well. And this is a decanter from Walmart. And then I have some black matte coasters again from Target. And then over here, this is something that I had in my last bar. Uh, it actually doesn't fit in the cabinet, which kind of sucks, which is a big reason why I had to kind of reconfigure things. So I put this up top, put some of the fancy er bottles up here. And that rack is from Pier One, which is no longer here. So rest in peace. Inside the cabinet, like I mentioned, I go over all the details in the cabinet in that last video, but the cabinet's actually not meant for alcohol. So the bottles are a lot taller than the shelves themselves. I tried to modify the shelves, but it seems like they're in there pretty well. So. I had to improvise. I ended up buying a rack from Home Goods and we're just laying the bottle sideways. I don't see why it couldn't work for liquor if it works for wine. So that was my thought process behind it. I keep my glasses, the shorter bottles of alcohol up here, uh, sparkling waters and you know, all the good stuff. So moving on over to the main space, this was a huge change. Again, if you guys caught my last video, I went over everything. So if you wanna know where the couch is from, check out that last video, but it is from Castlery, but I have everything linked over there. The rug is also from Castlery, talked about it in that video. The thing that I wanted to change and kind of tie around in the space is the color of wood. I wanted to kind of tie this darker walnut stain um, around the space because you guys know how I feel about tying in different colors of wood. So to tie in the wood over here, I got these frames from Home Goods. They were actually a pretty decent deal. Everyone's doing like the plaster arches, DIYs. And you guys know I'm a DIY queen and I would normally DIY everything but I just didn't have the energy or the strength. And for the price, I think I paid $70 for each frame. The frame was already the way I wanted it. The look was already there. So I just decided to buy them. Essentially, if you try to DIY them, you might save a little bit of cash, but on this size of canvas, you'll still be paying for the canvas. So I just went and bought them, but you can definitely DIY it. I'll try and link some videos, some TikToks or whatever down below, but you can definitely DIY it. For this light, I really wanted this black outside with gold interior on it. I kind of saw a couple different models on Amazon for significantly higher than what I paid for it. I got this light from Target and it was actually all gold. So what I did was I just spray painted the outside a bit matte black and I think it literally turned out perfect. It literally looks exactly like the lamps that I was looking at on Amazon that were upwards of like $400 and $500. And I got that for $99 on Target and I think it came out exactly the same so that was a diy as well so there are some things that i did still diy in this space but these frames were definitely not one of them <laughs> so again the couch is from castlery i have this blanket down here from target it's actually a different color because i was playing with different tones for fall the pillows are from amazon so i'll link those down below and this little one is also from amazon but it is from a brand called woven nook and i've mentioned them a lot, I buy a lot of pillow colors from Woven Nook. 
I think they are pretty good quality, so I continue to support them. They don't know I'm saying this, it is not sponsored, but I do really gravitate towards their vibes and their quality when it comes to pillowcases. I had a few people ask me about this coffee table. I took a hit on the cost. <laughs> Who knew that coffee tables could be so expensive? Nowadays, they're upwards of 300, 400 to $2,000. I did find this coffee table off Wayfair. It was a little bit more money than I wanted to spend. I spent $500 on it. And the legs actually came in a gold paint. So I just spray painted it matte black to just kind of tie in the accents of black around the space. And I like that it kind of ties in the bar cabinet and then the frames up here. So this lamp over here, old as well. This is from Target. I think they actually still have this lamp, so I'll try and link it. Here's where I keep all of Bentley's junk and toys and you see them kind of tying in kind of that wicker look still to keep some earthy balance in the room. Another big piece of furniture that some of you guys actually noticed in my last video, even though it looks slightly the same, it is actually a different chair. <laughs> this chair, similar color, and it actually is very similar in pattern to the couch, so I actually love it. The arms of this chair are this walnut finish as well. Again, tying in the walnut finishes around the space. That chair is from Target, the Magnolia collection. I will try and, and link it. When I tell you I was on a hunt for this chair, it showed up nowhere online on Target.com. Like it was nowhere to be found and I could only find it in stores and every time I scanned it, it never came up on the Target website. So when I did find it, I snagged it. I think I paid like $2.50 for it. And yes, I know it looks similar to my last chair, but again, those small elements of like tying things together is huge for me. Back here guys, again, this is kind of old. I'll point you guys to my last video. I haven't really changed anything. Right now it's decorated for fall, but these are my bookcases. I got them from Amazon. I have a whole bunch of videos about everything on there. So those are the bookcases, curtains are the same. Finally, over here we have the same kind of setup again as well, but this is for people who haven't seen my latest videos. This cabinet was originally from Ikea, but I did do a DIY link up here. So be sure to check that out. I made it into kind of like a fluted look because my thought process was to kind of mimic the fluted look of the, the bar cabinet over there. And I love how this turned out. This is about to get changed because I'm decorating for Christmas. So all of this is gonna get switched up. Um, mirror, unfortunately, is still silver. That was a plan of mine to paint it black, but Still have yet to get to that. So that's my updated space, guys. I wanna talk you guys through a little bit of how I kind of curated the space, but I'll probably do that in a separate video. In my last video, I made a whole mood board and I literally put every piece of furniture together on this board before I bought it. And I think it actually replicates exactly the vibes I was going for. I encourage people to do that, especially when you're investing in a lot of furniture and expensive furniture. When I tell you I went through a lot of iterations for this space, I went through a lot of iterations. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to comment the word cozy vibe. I would really appreciate it if you also give the video a huge thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace. <laughs>